In today's session, you're of course going to need a ball. Um, I want you to really look around in your home environment and, you know, see what you have. So today I'm going to work with a ball. As you can see in my home environment here, I have two chairs. I have two shoes, one flip-flop, and two pairs of socks. Of course, you can be as creative as you like, but I suggest you find two chairs, a few pairs of shoes, and two pairs of, and one pair of socks. So we'll begin shortly. I'll give you about a minute to get all your equipment ready. Let's see. So again, we need a ball, we need two chairs, a few pairs of shoes, a few pairs of socks, and then we'll get started. Let's see. So in this time, so in the last session, we talked about quality education, global goal number five, and we talked about decision-making processes. And in every game we make, we're in about 3,000 to 5,000 decision-making situations. So that's, that's quite a lot. So also another fact for you is that all most successful teams aren't the teams that run the most, but they're the teams that run the most efficient, efficiently. So think about that. Most successful teams aren't the teams that run the most. They're the teams that run the most efficiently. Um, with that, there's a, one of my favorite quotes within football, within soccer, is from Johan Cruyff. And he says that speed is often confused with insight. And when I start... <laughs> Let's see, when I start running before earlier, I often seem fast. So speed is often confused with insight. When I start running earlier, I appear faster. Um, so with this, with this extreme cognitive load, I'm going to test you again. So there'll be some things that we've seen before and some things that we've seen today. So with this, the brain takes many steps to process information. So we start with, okay, scanning our environment. Where are our defenders? Where are our teammates? Where's the space? How can I attack? What, where, where's the, how can I open up space for my teammate? What space do I need to close in order to defend properly? Um, so in the scanning the environment, we take in so much information. And with this taken in information, we also sort the information. And after we sort the information, we take action. So it allows us to take action based on what we've scanned, on what we've taken in from that scan, <laughs> what we've sorted, and then what football action do we take to solve the problem. So now, this today's session will be dedicated to global goal number nine, industry, innovation, and infrastructure. So let's take the ball and let's go. So I'm gonna get the music started here. Let's see. If you're just joining in, welcome. It's nice to see you. So remember, so we need the ball, we need a few chairs, some socks, some shoes, and really just kind of make a mess. So I'm making a big mess in my kitchen. So here's my mess. So here's how I'm gonna play. So let's take the ball. So start by being free with the ball, exploring your space. So I have a lot of obstacles here. I have my chairs, my shoes, my socks. I'm trying to avoid all of them. I think it's many different parts of my feet. So now we're going to keep exploring our space. So now when I say an item, so if I say chair, I need you to dribble as quick as you can to your chair. If I say sock, same thing, as quick as you can to the sock. So let's explore our environment, this time just with your right foot. So I'm just using my right foot, coming in and out of these obstacles. Chair! Now I'm here. Good. Left foot only now. Good. 
song. So now I'm going to song. Take a rest. So yeah, both feet, whatever surfaces you like. Can I put the 
well on the back nine, so I'm using a flat back here, so make sure I'm not arched. I'm coming, I can come out with my arms here. If it falls down, it's okay. Do it again, it's a flat back, I can make sure my shoulders are flexed. From here, I can go around with my little obstacle course. And last challenge here if I can. I'm going to come down here quick. So the last part of the warm up, same thing. We're dribbling around, but remember from last time that we, we counted from the month. We counted the months. We said the months. <laughs> Sorry, counted the months. We said the months. So we're going to dribble around our up this course every other month. So it's January, March, May, all the way down to December. Ready? Let's go. So a little more speed if we can. So now I'm going January, March, May, July, September, November. I can keep going down from January or I start from December and go back up. So I'm going to start at December. Yeah, if you're going to December, October, August. every other month. If I make it all the way down to December, or November in this case, every other, then I want to start December and go all the way back every other month. If I have that, I can challenge myself with the numbers as well. Every seventh number up to 70, and then 70 backwards every seventh number. Let's see, take some water. Really nice to see everybody. Thank you all for joining. Okay. Next phase, so we're going to take the chair. So I'm going to watch out with some of my other obstacles here, so I'm going to put them to the side for now. I'm going to put away one of my chairs. <laughs> some of these we've done before. So the first one, I'm going to tune now, tunnel, as they say in Swedish, or not make the chair with inside my foot. So I'm coming inside, so. Inside, so. And let's go for 30 seconds and see how many you can get. So one, two, three, four. So we're going to take it slow. If I don't have a chair, I can use two socks. Ole. Same thing, outside of the foot. Again, we've done this one before. So, outside of the foot, stop. Outside of the foot, stop. So, so, outside, and I stop with my right. So, right foot takes the ball. Outside of the foot, so, left foot, stop. Ole. The defender won. So, I don't see the chair, I see the defender. So, so, outside, so, outside, so, outside. So, how many can we go? Everything to music. Few more. Okay. Next one. We're just gonna use our left, or you can start with your right if you like. So I'm going to go inside, then outside. So I'm just working with my right in, out. Yeah, let's go. Nice and slow so we get the pattern, and then we can speed it up once we have it. I'm going to start over here. 
Thunder run, thunder really there, I guess. A few more. Right foot, or if you run your right, now left foot. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so now we're going to use the right and left foot, same exercise, but now if I say even number, we used this last time, then I'm going to work with my left foot. If I say an odd number, I work with my right foot. So let's make sure that we try it when, I, when we transition, that the transi transition is very smooth, adding an extra cognitive function to this exercise. Yeah, let's go. So two, so I'm going to start with my left. One, seven, eleven, we're still on our right, eighty-two, coming to the left, <laughs> even more joining I hope you're enjoying it enjoying so again in the game we take 3,000 we're in 3,000 to 5,000 decision making in 3,000 to 5,000 decision making situations in a game it's crazy the cognitive load we have so we have to be able to have the ball at our feet read the defenders coming at us and also our teammates so there's a lot of cognitive load on the brain here so it's important when we're training that we have a lot of decision making aspects when we're training the brain. So I love training my teams 
in a lot of match-like situations with a high degree of decision making. All right, are you ready? Next, next face. <laughs> so now I'm gonna move the chair. So what else do I have in my environment? And now we need some shoes. You're more than welcome to use socks as well. So I'm gonna make a triangle of my face. So I have one shoe here in my fridge here. I'm move my socks a bit. I have one shoe over here. One shoe over here. So now I'm gonna start at the top of the triangle near my fridge. I'm gonna attack this first shoe. So when I attack this first shoe, I'm gonna come with the outside of my foot and then look for the next shoe to attack. So I attack the next one, outside, outside, attack. And then now I go the opposite foot. So there, when I'm going to my right, I'm using my right foot to turn. So when I go to my left, I'm using my left foot to turn. So let's try again. So now I'm going to the right, my first opponent here. I'm coming outside, outside, attacking. Outside, outside, and I'm looking at the space. I'm finding that space to attack. And attacking with me. So now I'm going to go towards my left with my left foot. So a big attacking touch. Outside, outside, escape. Outside, outside, escape. Now I come back to my right. So let's take a few on each side. Two to the right, two to the left. Three touches with outside. So attacking. Outside, outside, attacking. Opposite way. Outside, outside, attack. My hands up for that time. Attacking. So now I'm going back to my right. To my left. Outside, outside, attack. Now I'm going to my right again. One more time each side. Out, out, attack. Out, out, attack. My left, big tap, big tap, and I'm away. Next one, we're going to work with the inside of our foot when we're turning. So I'm going to get our ball here again. So now when I'm attacking with my right, I'm going to turn on my left. So when I'm going with my left, I'm attacking the right side, inside, inside, attack. Inside, inside, attack. When I go to the left, now I'm going to turn on my right. So I'm attacking on my left, cutting, cutting, exploding. A quick cut and explode. Alright? Three on the right, three on the left. So there, we're going to the right, we're going to our right, so that means we use our left foot. So now I'm going to the left, I use my right foot. Back here. Cut, cut, explode. Cut, cut, explode. Back here. Tight, cut, explode. Tight, cut, explode. I come here. Get a tiny bit bigger here. 
So I'm gonna take one touch, do an elbow chop, do an elbow chop, do an elbow chop, I'm coming around. Other way, so now we're gonna go with our left foot, so I can take it nice and slow, chop, coming around, take a little touch, chop, coming around, coming around. Right foot again. Opposite way. We're going to chop it and come around. Opposite side, left foot. We're coming here, chop, coming around like a bow and arrow. Well done. Quick water break. Last part of the session. All right. I know, last part of the session. So I want you to really look around in your environment. So I have socks, shoes, chairs. So I want you to make a mess in whatever space you're using today. So I'm going to take my chair back out. I have a box that I'm going to choose from. I'm going to chair here if I like. There if I like, wherever I want. So in my space, I have a small ball here. So I'm going to play the ball here. I'm going to play the ball here. I'm going to play the ball here. When I say... Chair. So say if I'm playing a pass, I say chair. I need to dribble around the chair and come back. So a few passes, listen to my cue. If I said chair, find a chair as quick as possible. If I said sock, find it as quick as possible. So I'm always having my head in the swivel. So I don't want to run around the football field like this. When I said that, I'm going to say, okay, what am I looking for? Where's the space? Where's my defenders? Where's my teammate? What space can I create to open up for somebody? So yeah, let's go. So find a little wall, a few passes. Chair! Find our direct with the chairs here. Now I'm coming back. So I'm always looking. Shoo! Here's my shoe. Coming around, come back. Stop. I'm going to have a little sock. Check. Switch up your items a little bit. So I'm going to move my shoe maybe over here, maybe a chair over there, put the shoe there. Come close to you there, a little soft. All right. A few more, same thing, every time I play. Can I look around my environment? Can I scan my environment? And on the signal, on the trigger, we go. Ready? Yeah. So I'm scanning. I see your chair. I see chair here. I see my shoe there. I see my shoe there. I see my sock. Sock! I'm coming quick around. Four more. Shoot!
Chairs up, shoot. So I found my chair, found my sock, found my shoe, and I'm away. Well day, well done. Stay here. Can I turn down the music? Let me grab my ball real quick. All right, I turned on the music real quick here. Okay, thank you all for joining. Um, again, the session is supposed to test you cognitively as well as physically and technically. So again, in a game, we have 3,000 to 5,000 decision-making situations that we find ourselves in. So. Football is not just a technical sport or a physical sport. It's a really psychological, it's all the things combined. It's a holistic game. So we want to combine all things in training if possible, um, especially when we can turn back with our teams again. How can we make situations as match-like as possible with tons of decision-making to work on these cognitive decision-making processes where we have to scan our environment, take in information, sort the information, and then take action with football actions. So one company that's also known for taking in different images and taking different actions for the planet is, as you see in my shirt, Globy. So this inspired me, this company has inspired me a lot. And Globy is using drones to collect drone data that makes a difference for the people and the planet. So they're using drones to collect data that makes a difference for the people and for the planet. So in this world, in this world with Globy and the football world, how they're connected to me is that, okay, that we're both scanning an environment in order to take the most optimal action that will solve problems either on the field or for the planet. So how can we use this time to take action by training inside, staying inside, staying healthy? and doing everything for each other and for the environment. So thank you so much for joining the session. There's so many great sessions in the Global Goals World Cup Clubhouse. So also look on their website in their archive. There's, uh, I mean, uh, numerous sessions in this time that I, I've really enjoyed every single one of them. So feel free to take a look there and enjoy. So thank you for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you this Thursday for a partner passing session. All right, take care.